The St. Louis Board of Aldermen could give final approval today to one of the largest increases in city water bills in recent history. We're going to discuss this with Fox 2's Chris Renier right now. He's joining us live downtown previewing this important meeting slated to happen later this morning. Good morning, Chris. Hey, John, good morning to you. Blair, good morning to you as well. We are just outside of City Hall. The Board of Aldermen set to meet here at 10 o'clock this morning. The board gave initial approval to this plan last week by a 12 to 2 vote. That important final vote expected just hours from now. We captured some video inside a city water treatment plant before last week's vote. City officials giving us access to that facility. We saw leaking pipes and broken pumps. Kurt Scobie, the city's public utilities director, tells us his department has been dipping heavily into its reserves to help keep things running. In fact, he says his reserves have dwindled from 33 million to just 2 million. The proposed rate hike plan would increase water bills in the city by a total of $30 a quarter come early next year. The first increase of $15 would take place next month, then another $15 jump would go into effect in January. Proponents of this increase say it will help with repairs and with upgrading aging infrastructure. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox showing one of the numerous recent water main breaks in the city. This one flooded part of Highway 40 near the zoo last month. Many others have happened in areas like South St. Louis. City officials have not raised water rates in some 13 years. Last week, some aldermen expressed frustration that there hasn't been enough community input about the financial situation at the water department. Others have questioned why a more gradual increase wasn't done over a longer period of time in the past. Last year, the state auditor released a report criticizing the city for its inaction involving the water department. We will see how that final vote goes later today. For now, live downtown, Chris Renier, Fox News.